Mr. Boston, will you please come to the front of the group? It's your turn. Uh, are you sure? Positive. Hell no. The first time that I ever heard the word gay, <clears throat> that I ever heard the word gay, cancer, <clears throat> I'd always assumed that being gay was a little bit like having cancer because only people in sad movies had it. <laughs> and just like the people in sad movies, I mean, it's never going to happen to you. To you, it's only ever going to be a phase, verb, to introduce in gradual stages. Month is a time of celebration where men can get together to celebrate love, liberty, and the occasional beat. Say during these times, it is imperative that we feel safe in the spaces that we inhabit. I'm a part of a club. Listen, guys, it's not like a, like a gay club or anything like that. It's um, it's more like a support group. And you know what, they've talked to the counselors about it and everything, but it hasn't even been recognized officially. On February the 9th, it was revealed that most states still lack the necessary non-discrimination protections against LGBTQ people, the situation being even more severe for LGBTQ African Americans who live at the intersection of racism, homophobia, and transphobia. That's so gay black people. Yes, there is a such thing as gay black people, and we are a lot like X-Men. And I'm not talking about the obvious, you know, uh, teen angst, isolation, the cool costumes. I need a place. I need a safe place, a quiet place, a peaceful place, a place where I can march right up to the urinal and piss like no one is watching because no one should be watching. I need a geography club. You guys mean to tell me that this, this place is meant to be some sort of secret support group for gay black teens? According to a study conducted by the Williams Institute at UCLA Law, it was revealed that in the black community, 43% of teens who came out to their parents were forced to leave because of rejection of their gender identity or sexual orientation. And after leaving, 33% faced physical, emotional, or sexual abuse outside of their homes. These problems are stemmed from a lack of communication and acceptance in our communities about black homosexuality and the absence of safe places where they can freely be themselves is necessary. The queer individuals like myself can have protected environments where we can freely explore our identities without falling victim to the false narratives society has placed on us, crippled us with, and ultimately dehumanized us with. So using the poems, That's So Gay by Janine Brown, for anyone who's ever been told it's just a phase by Kevin Cantor and Sienna Burnett, False Ignorances by Skag Stanton, and Gay People Are A Lot Like X-Men by Tom Denai. The Drama, Geography Club by Edmund Inton, a stand-up by Kevin Hart, and articles from The Root, The Huffington Post, and The Human Rights Campaign. A program. Because everyone should have the freedom to show their true colors. I am going to be honest about something. And I want everyone in the room to also be honest with me, because, well, uh, this is something I feel rather uh, strongly about, and I like to know whether I'm correct or incorrect on certain things. I like to be aware of myself, as I tend to say, because one of my biggest fears is my son growing up and being gay. Now, keep in mind, I'm not homophobic, but if I can prevent my son from being a phase, Bird, the process of waxing and waning, then I will.
by any means necessary. I came out between the ages of 22 and 24. And let me tell you, my parents took it horrifically. <laughs> I mean, they pretended like they were okay with it at the time, but by the way that they treated me, it showed otherwise. I mean, for the first time in my life, I felt uncomfortable in the home that I lived in since I was two years old. Power number one, invisibility. Okay, so I'm not using it right now, but trust me, even I can fade away. I use it to avoid the bros, as well as the no homo sapiens who somehow find their way into gay clubs, gay bars, and anywhere else you wouldn't want your day ruined. This power is also extra important to avoid becoming someone's black gay best friend. Because yes, we too get tired of picking out endless handbags, and saying things like, OMG, that's so gay. It's the color on your cheeks that you can't erase when you're caught staring at the school case or the Lions poster. And you swear to yourself that the red on that rainbow is nothing compared to the one on your cheeks. You see, most of my classmates graduated from childish banter to hateful slurs, while the rest of us graduated from a cold closet into a freezing world. In a perfect world. Words like dyke, faggot, Lesbo and queer wouldn't even exist. In a perfect world, the shield of ignorance would be seen right through and we'd all be seen as people. Now, I hate to be the one to inform you of this, but we don't live in a perfect world. Power number two, the black sexual appetite. What the hell? Less like a power, this one, but it's the one that everyone fears no matter where you go. I've been asked no less than six times if I am attracted to my own reflection. I mean, damn, wouldn't you be? Hey, bro, don't say that. That's gay. So if I can prevent my son, I mean my son, from being labeled as one of those faggots wherever he goes, then I will, by any means, necessary. If you think that my love is wrong, then you have no idea what love is. You can't shove love into a box or push it in a closet because love is the push and the pull of yin and yang. It is two rivers flowing side by side in perfect harmony and it is so much more than just a phase, verb, to remove in gradual stages. I have a dad who is pressuring me to go to Yale and live the same life that he did and that includes, that includes having a wife. He said that if you choose to be gay, then you are no longer part of this family. You want to live that lifestyle? Then you can do it somewhere else. That's so a geography club? Is it meant to be some type of joke? Some safe place where we can finally find acceptance within ourselves? Something like this can't exist. You guys are all idiots, man. When all of this white world will ever say about us is that so gay? Well, let me teach you what that so gay means to us. That's so gay. You might as well highlight it in our suicide notes to remind us it's the only thing we'll ever be worthy of. That's so gay is running for your life as the walls of the places you once called home crash in around you. That's so gay is the X number of razors that you never use for shaving. That's so gay is googling how to tie a noose. That's so gay is a dragon. It's a snake. A stripper will stuff that coal on its breath. It's not that racism on its tongue, molten, talent broken from the struggle to free itself of its own black skin. That's so gay. Boy, I haven't heard those words in As a black man, owning up to my sexuality came with a price tag, one that I'll be wearing for the rest of my life. I, just, I don't want my son to go through that. Power number three, learning to accept yourself for who you've always been and wanting to find a place wherever your melanin throws you. Power number three is looking them right in the eyes when all that they see is your skin and choosing to show them your heart. <laughs>